Today, and I'm actually with a special guest, my childhood friend, Christina Rivera. Hello. With Premier Designs, and Christina's decided to take some time to kind of share who she is, what she does, how she got involved, where she's at today, and a little bit about her story. And towards the end, she's also going to share a quick lesson with everyone. Yes. So let's go ahead and get started. Thank okay. you, Christina. Thank you. Thank you Appreciate for having it. me. Um, so Premier Designs is a company that was uh, born in 1985, so it's been around for about 33 years now. Um, we are a company that's Christian-based. We are a faith-based company. Um, we sell high fashion jewelry. So um, the quality, uh, we have good quality. Um, it's plated with gold, with silver, um, and so and very hypoallergenic as well. So that's very important. Okay. A lot of women um, uh, get allergic reactions to jewelry, so it is hypoallergenic. Okay. Um, we what makes us unique um, from any other company is the versatility of our jewelry. So versatility means that you can wear one piece many different ways. Um, so. And we are based in Texas, so it is um, our jewelry is made in the U.S. Excellent, excellent. That's yes. that's good to know at least. So, how did you come across Premier Designs? Um, so, I was actually buying the jewelry for about a year prior to me um, venturing into the business. So, I was I was purchasing the jewelry and um, I loved it. Um, and I decided, I saw an opportunity um, to go ahead and, you know, venture in and um, at a low cost because with any business um, that you uh, really join, you need to put a little bit of investment in. Correct. Um, so I saw an opportunity to go ahead and join, so I did. Um, I was going through some financial hardship and so I needed um, extra, an extra stream of income. Okay. And so uh, this was basically my side hustle um, for me. So that's how I um, was able to get into Premiere. Okay. Um, well, I like how you shared that this was your side hustle. Like, as I'm talking to many individuals out there in the community and I'm finding out that they're unhappy with their current employer and I've asked, you know, what is your desire? What's your passion? What would you like to do? And sometimes it just holds them back because they have this mindset where they have to go full time. Right. And you can actually start on a part-time basis, oh, yeah. kind of like what you just shared right, right now on your side hustle. Right. And you're building it as you kind of go. Right. So, so I'm I'm full time nurse. Um, okay. By day, um, so I wanted to I wanted to do something on the side that I can be able to do at home, um, and still be able to be at home with my kids. Um, and that was really how this company was born. It was born for the single mom, for the stay-at-home mom and to fund missions all around the world. So that's the great thing about Premier is that when people buy a piece of jewelry, they're able to, that portion of that dollar that comes in, a portion of that dollar goes out to missions all around the world. Wow. So they've been able to support missions in over 66 countries. That's amazing. That's what yes. I like that they do that. And along with gaining profits, they give back. So right. That's, that's awesome. Yes, their, their, um, their mission is people before profit. Love and that. so, yes. So that's um, something that's very important to them and really has been able to bless everyone um, alongside from the jewelers to the people that we are blessing women with jewelry. So okay. so you started approximately how far back? So I started six months ago okay. um, and I was over at a friend's house and I was just going through the catalog and I saw, you know, um, an opportunity in the back and I was like okay I could be my own boss for $45 okay I could do this so um, there was a need and so I went for it um, I didn't know if I could do something like that but I wanted to take the risk and try it out and see if I was going to be successful at it um, I didn't feel like I was losing out at all I felt like um, a premier Really, uh, there was really nothing to lose, all to gain, with Excellent. with venturing into the business. So, um, so yeah, that's how I came across it, and I decided to, I went ahead, I signed up, um, and uh, really the why, 
how I, you know, my reason for going into Premier was for financial. Um, but soon uh, afterwards, I started to realize that my why started to change. How soon after did you realize that your, your why changed? So when I, um, so with Premier, uh, we do uh, home shows, home events, okay. um, fundraisers, all kinds of things. So um, I uh, met with, with one of my hostesses and this is really where it began and where um, at the end of hostess coaching, we have to hostess coach as jewelers um, and just really provide direction for our hostesses. And so as I was there in her home, I didn't know her. Um, but I was able to, to um, at, at the end of my hostess coaching, I always say, is there anything that I can pray for, Ooh, for you? That's powerful. Yes. And when I saw women break down and really share their story with me, I started to realize that there are so many women that are, that are broken, that are going through things. Um, mm. And so it's really become my ministry in life, my women's ministry. So that's how my why has changed. Wow, um, that's a powerful why. Yes. That's a very powerful yes. why. That you're now, you know, started initially for you because of financial reasons, but now it's also you giving back. Right. Where there's and, a ministry and, involved with it. Right, and that's what it's about. It's about serving others, right? Yes. We, we as Christians, we, um, we have to be Christ-like and, and we need to have a serving heart. Yes. And so when we serve and, and pour into other people, that's when God's going to bless us. Like, you know? Yeah, amen. So, yes, he's, he's blessed my family financially, but also, you know, being able to be used as a vessel um, to show the love of Christ to women and to pray on them and to love on them. And that's really what it's about. Yes, I love that. So, I love that you're able to share that and I love that... Uh, you know, you're able to uncover an, an additional why along why you started. Right. Um, so, talk to me a little bit about like the first 30 to 90 days. What was that experience like? Well, it was a lot of learning. Okay. Um, I, you know, like I said, I wasn't sure if I was going to be good at this, right? Um, I think as a, as women, uh, I think fear tends to hold us back from a lot of achieving a lot of things in life. And um, I wasn't sure, uh, but I learned. I learned how to do the business. I learned how to, um, and I gained confidence. I gained so much confidence through this because you're able to present yourself um, and talk about the company with um, and share the opportunity with other women because um, that's what it's about. It's about sharing what Premier has to offer because I don't want to just take it all in, right? Right. Um, I want to share what Premier has done for me and how it's benefited my family and how it can benefit someone else. Okay. Um, so, yes, it was a lot of learning. Um, I really, I, um, I searched online with the best Premier jewelers out there and I wanted to learn from the people that were on the top. Um, because you know we that's how we that's how we get better we yes. learn for those people that are successful already um and there's nothing wrong with it and then just learning taking some nuggets from each of the the top jewelers and making creating my own and making it unique to um to, to, to me yeah okay i like that when i hear you share how you reached out to the top premier design uh, reps out there i hear someone that's coachable is willing to gain knowledge from others out there seeing okay. that they they reached a point where they're at today for a reason right so why not reach out to them right where sometimes in our industry as far as entrepreneur entrepreneurial world you see a lot of people so competitive and they, they don't want to seek out that information that right. you took the initiative to do yeah but that's that's how you learn i mean you can't just expect to just do this on your own you know you need a community that's that goes I think that goes in with life in general. Yes. You know, um, I, I think people tend to want to do things all on their own, right? And so uh, we need to be humble, stay low, and, and know that we can learn from each other, right? So right. community is very, very important. 
And I love the fact that my upline in, in this business is, uh, she's an amazing leader. She has an amazing uh, team of individuals. So okay. it's not like, people uh when they come into premiere that they're alone in this okay. it's like a sisterhood really oh that's great um, so yes and it's, it's just a way an opportunity to build friendships to build um community so that's the great thing about and what premiere really gives us um, so it sounds like it's a business that you're able to start for yourself but not by yourself Is right that safe to say? exactly okay exactly Perfect. you're never you're never alone um there's uh, there we have training opportunities um, monthly training opportunities. So, okay. right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So a lot of support, training, uh, a branding that's been around now. You said since 1984. Did I get that right? 1985. 85. So it's been okay. yeah, it's almost 34 years. Okay. 34 years will be in November. So yes, debt-free company. Um, yeah, it's been it's been very successful, and I believe it's because their mission was to bless others. And I really believe that that's why um, this company has been around for so long. Yes. But I have to say, I love what I see on social media. You know, I see your live streams and, you know, we ran into each other last week and we got to talking. And yes. I'm like, you know what? I definitely need to have you come out and, and just share your story because I believe that what you're doing, especially hearing more of it now, is going to impact lives out there. It's going to inspire those that are considering to look into something, whether it be on a part time basis, but been fearful of it. Yes. And now hearing that. But your testimony, it's something that, you know what, just take that leap of faith. So eliminate the fear. You mentioned that a lot of times women fear. Men, we may not want to admit it, but we fear as well. Right, yeah. So well, it's something absolutely. that has held many of us back to not pursue, you know, that calling for us. Right, 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 right. Yes. Um, yes, fear, fear can really keep you bound. Um, but... You have to take the risk, and you have to do it all with the, with God's strength. You have to ask Him for help. You know, um, with every show that I do, with every live that I do, I always pray before I go on. And you, wow. you really need okay. to be. Um, and I've gotten I've gotten in in the in the habit of trying to create a habit of praying before I do anything, because like when you when you invite god into your business it's just it's gonna it's gonna just god's gonna just work himself in in a powerful way Amen. so and that's what i've um that's what he's shown me um through this business i mean it's from we have charms in our collection it's from i gifted a young woman a charm at a meeting and it was it was a believe charm it, it's a 12 dollar charm and uh, it has believe on one side, and on the back it, it has Ephesians four uh, verses two and three. And Beautiful. little did I know that gifting her that charm was going to bring tears to her because she said that that's what she was struggling with, believing in herself. And um, she she just thanked me. She said, "This has been my this is my word of the year." Wow, that's powerful. And. Um, you know things like that those types of encounters where um we we should always be alert and sensitive to the to god's voice because i remember that morning not wanting to put that charm in my bag but something was telling me as the lord was just speaking to me take it with you take it with you and sure enough i gave it to her and if i didn't if i wasn't obedient to the call wow. I, w I wouldn't have blessed her and now she did, every time i see her she has that charm on <laughs> that's that's special. It's a great feeling. Yeah. I can imagine. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yes. Wow. I, I know earlier when we were talking, you mentioned another key thing about um, one of your. I think it was your recent trainings or meetings you went to. They talked about the value of mission. Can you share a little bit about that? Yes, mission. Um, uh, I I strongly believe that in anything that you do, um, whether it's a business, whether it's your job. Um, Anything that you feel that you were called to do by the Lord, um, you should have a mission statement. Um, write down a mission statement and have scripture to um, to back that up as well. Okay. Um, I would say just self-reflect, really take the time to, to, to pray, be in God's word, and really um, ask the Lord what is it that, you know, what is it that um, He wants you to do with 
your um, with your particular mission um, and and what you what you want to do uh, and how you want to be used by okay. him. Um, so that is so important to do, and I really believe that um, if you set your mindset to that and go ahead and write your goals and your mission statement and all of that, um, you're going to really be successful. I like that. So I completely agree with you. I mean, I know from my background and working in the corporate world, you see that a lot. They always have their vision and their mission. Right. So it, it speaks to why several businesses out there have success. But right. I like how you added on that, along with having your mission statement, having scripture tied into it. Oh, yeah. I think that's truly powerful. Yeah. Yes. I, I um, And I was challenged. I was challenged by a brother at church who um, I had been struggling with prior to getting to Premier. Um, I was in the children's ministry, but I didn't feel like I felt like my time was was up there, and um, he was like, "Well, do you have a mission statement?" And I was like, oh, "No," <laughs> you know. I was like, "No, I have a mission statement." And then I started to learn um, about leadership a little bit more, and um, I started to realize, "Man, no, I need a mission statement. I need to really um, pray about this." And so the Lord had been placing in my heart the woman, um, the single mom. And so, um, because I've been a single mom for, for a while now. So, um, and that was another thing that was, you know, reason why I, I got into this, but, um, yeah, it was just, I was just kind of like just searching for, uh, you know, what God was really calling or what God was calling me to. And so premiere fell in my lap and I knew that, okay, this is where you want me to be, and this is going to be far greater than uh, just selling jewelry. It's about you know, it's about serving into these women, and this you know has become my women's ministry. So, so yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> that's awesome. I love it. I mean, you started off again, you know, for financial reasons, but then it turned into your ministry, yeah. and then you're impacting lives out there. So, yeah, I mean. I think I had someone share with me, my good friend Gina, she's a makeup artist, and she tells me, you know, in her line of work, she enhances their beauty. So yes. I think, like, with you, you enhance the beauty with the jewelry that they carry on, right. but also... But the, th the thing is, like, it has to come from inward out, right? Yes. So we need to be good inside, because the out, the out layer only stays for a little while. And, oh, I, and, and the thing is that uh, with with Premier, we have scripture on a lot of our jewelry, and Please, can um, I can me? show you um, our bracelet set. Uh, it's a five five piece bracelet set, and it's, um, it's mixed with silver and gold. And each of these bangles have um, a powerful message on them. Uh, it says, "This too shall pass. Stronger than yesterday, I am enough. You are fearfully and wonderfully made." And your grace abounds in deepest waters. So I love that people don't know, a lot of people don't understand or know, are aware that Premier is a Christian based company. And when they buy jewelry, they see stuff like this, and it's something that they really need. People, yes. you know, some women are like, man, I love my bracelet set. Um, I really need this. This is, this is, speaks to me every day. Um, and so, yeah, it's just powerful how um, even though someone may not know Christ, that like Premier souls the seed of Love Christ it. in them, and they don't even know it <laughs> initially. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's 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 powerful, but that's why it's so important to meet with these women and pray over them and love on them because. Like I said, the outward only lasts for for just it's temporary. That's if you're so not true. if you're not good inside, you know, and um, so that's what I learned. That's why when I when I ask how can I pray for you, women just pour out their lives to me. That's a powerful um, question right there. Yes, it's really unexpected. It kind of throws them off guard a little bit because it's not something that they would expect, right? Let me just kind of bring this little over here. This one I kind of show. Oh yeah. So this is called Vibrant, and this is, um, it's a teal necklace, um, it's actually Pantone is the color, and um, 
if you guys don't know, Pantone is the color of the year for 2020. Is it? Yes. I didn't know that. So yes. it's great to know. Yes. Pantone. Yeah, so you That's... need to be up with this color, yes. I, I, I need to. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> now, um, I do have to ask, is Premier looking to bring any branding for men? Any jewelry? Oh, well, we do have we do have some um, some jewelry for men. We do. Um, oh. It's in the catalog. We have um, we just have ah, a brand new look bracelet. How I just, oh. Oh, I just, <laughs> it just opened. <laughs> you just fell on the page. Right there. Look at that. Yes, so you, fishermen. Can I show that closer to the camera? Yes. I do want the viewers to see that. It's yes. not simply women, there's also Yes, there's things for guys, a fun also collection for, for um for tweens. They have um some necklaces and charms for tweens now. Okay. Um even for your pet. So oh wow. Any pet, any of um the pet lovers out there or my fur moms or fur dads, okay. um they have charms, engravable charms for your dog. These are very nice actually. I, I like them. Yes. Them. Oh so, wow, this is Perfect. Something I need to look into. Yes. Put, put on the full armor of God. God. That's a yes. teaching. Yes, I love it. Yes. Very so nice. yeah, they have they have great things for um, for men. Unfortunately, it's just a small collection for men. But um, I get why though. I um, get why. Yeah. Right. <laughs> but that that this is very 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 nice. I like what I see here for men. So guys that are watching, please reach out to my friend Christina, yes. and I'll make sure to provide information and how to get connected with Christina, her, her platforms, whether it be social media and so on, um, even her direct number, if that's okay as yeah. well. Um, right, but absolutely. there's a lot of good information here that you've shared with us. I love that, um, you know, to me, when I think of someone in the nursing profession, automatically someone has a genuine heart, a caring mm -hmm. heart. You know, I, I went to a training not, not so long ago where they talked about those that had the best um, uh, ratings, based on surveys they did of, for mm -hmm. professions out there, like, mm -hmm. for example, car sales, and it has yeah. very poor rate. But when you think of a nurse, because of your natural, caring, giving heart, you have a much higher uh, rating than anyone really out there, even higher than a doctor. Really? Yeah. Well, I could see that because we're, nurses are in the front line, right? So we, yes. we have the direct kind of contact. We can, uh, we communicate with our patients, uh, with the family. So I, I work in the neonatal intensive so I work with okay. babies, but I also um, work with parents. Um, okay. So that's primarily who I communicate with at the bedside are the parents. Um, so yeah, it, it's a rewarding job. Um, it's it's fulfilling definitely, um, but only by the grace of God Amen. because it's only by His grace that I can. I'm where I'm at. And I'm able to, you know, I've been a nurse for 14 years, so it's been a very long time. But it, it um, speaks to who you are. You know, I could tell just, you know, speaking to you today. And, and I mean, granted, we've known each other since children, but there was also a time period that we drifted apart. Yeah. So to be able to reconnect. Oh, and yeah, absolutely. Just, this is amazing. God is good. He, he yes. knows what he's doing. Yes, he does. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. But I love that everything that you're doing, it you know, speaks to you that you. I I could see immediately that you're just a really giver. You have a genuine heart to give, yes. and you don't find that with just everyone out there. So I, I right. you know, I commend you on that. Thank That's you, awesome. thank you so much. Um, so you, you know, nursing for 14 years. 14 years. Uh, you've been you launched your business now for six months. Six months. Mm -hmm. Where do you see yourself within the next three to five years? Mm, I see myself. I, I see myself with Premier. I um, I don't see myself leaving, but I see myself having a big team. And that's what I've been praying on. I've okay. been praying about um, developing a team of women um, that I can just create leaders. Um, and so I'm already, I've already established uh, my team page because I have full faith and trust that God is gonna give me my, my, you know, give me my girls. Yes. And so, um, yeah, I see myself, I see myself um, still with Premier, um, hopefully married by then. <laughs> <laughs> um, and yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm excited to see how I am going to be able to incorporate Premier um, in, in, in a bigger altitude of my life so do you see yourself transitioning from uh, 
part-time to full-time? Oh, that would be um, my dream, yes. Yes, um, okay. Yes, I would love to cut my hours from my full-time. I don't see myself giving up nursing. Okay. Um, but I do see myself cutting out my hours a bit to do this, to do Premier more full-time. Gotcha. Um, so, but I mean, Premier has been other people's full-time job. Okay. So, um, so it, that's the great thing and the flexibility that it gives because it can be your fun time, your part time, or your full time. Love that. So, uh, so for the, the women that are viewing, or even men, because I've met with many individuals that they're either single, married, and even married, they, they tell me that they find it challenging to have the time to do anything outside of their full time. Mm -hmm. Now, you're single, you're a mother, okay. you have a full time mm -hmm. job nursing. And you have your part-time business. There's always time. There's always time. So what what, do you, what would you say is this, if there's any secret or, or what is it to make sure that, you know, what advice can you give someone out there that to me maybe might be fear or what it may cause them? Do you think it's time management? What would you say it would yes, be? Yes, you, you have to have time management organizational skills. Um, you have to set time outside of... Um, you know of other things in your life to you know if you want to grow you have to put the time in um and that's just i think in anything that you do um i use certain platforms to uh help me as far as my business such as social media social media is a great platform to yes. use to promote yourself and to brand yourself so um I, I, I've used, I've tried to be creative in, with my time and how I, I um, and what I do with, with um, and how I present my jewelry. Okay. Um, so I do consistent lives weekly gotcha. and that's really helped me yeah. um, and just being consistent, you know, and, and I think that's key is consistency yes. when it comes to, you know, your business. So. Absolutely. I agree with you, especially consistent because you see a lot of times we want that instant gratification and I think it's because the way life is today right. everything's in the palm of your hands right you have your cell phone yes. you can easily get to anything search right. anything so you, your your patient level is not as strong for many right they don't right. want to give it the time that it's not going to happen overnight you have to be consistent and just give it time right. Keep, be patient with it and allow it to happen right now you mentioned you do live streams weekly is there a specific day and timing that you do it so that way the viewers that uh, can even jump on. Yeah, absolutely. So I usually do my um, my lives on Wednesdays. I do uh, ways to wear Wednesdays. Wednesday. Yes. I like so that. I keep it on every Wednesday. Try to do it in the nighttime, probably anywhere between eight and nine, depending on how my schedule looks. Sure. Um, because if I am working twelve hours that day, um, I might jump on closer to nine p.m. Um, yes. But I usually kind of give uh, post up uh, a time. Gotcha. Um, that I'm gonna go live prior to going live, so um, yeah, and it's been great. It's been um, it's been fun. People enjoy it, and yeah, they 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 pretty much love it. So, and I'm happy. I'm happy that I you know can um, just teach women about style and how to wear jewelry and right. how it really makes a difference and revamps your look, right? So, right. Yeah. So yeah. All right, and. Anything else you'd like to share? Maybe a quick lesson. Um, I, as many know, my nickname is Jay El Maestro. El Maestro, for those that do not know, it stands for teaching, so mm -hmm. teacher. Uh, I love doing workshops and so forth, so that's how the nickname came about. With that, uh, is there a lesson that you'd like to provide for the viewers that uh, might help them some way, somehow? I think you've provided a lot up to now, but just maybe something yes. more key. I think key to having a successful business is being authentic. So. Authenticity really matters. Um, don't compare yourself to other people. You know, you mm -hmm. are your own. Um, you're unique uh, and you're special. And so, really being authentic with your with your uh, clients, with with your customers, um, in anything that you do, be genuine. You know, be you. So. I love that. I love that. You know, I share don't let me your identity, so I think that ties into your identity, right? Oh, yeah, yes. absolutely. So, um, I appreciate you making time to come out and, and yes. share your story with everyone. I, 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 it's impacted me, so I'm sure it's going to impact others out oh, there I that are viewing. So. I hope so. 
times. Uh, I love what you're doing. Just continue to do that. And I believe that uh, God has big plans for you and yeah, that uh, you. you will be able to transition to, to be able to do this more, not full time, right? But Yes, I hope um, so. There's a need out there. There's a need out there. There's many out there that are seeking that help. Uh, and I believe God's helping you with, deliver that to them. Right. Through your platform, right. the Premier Designs. Yes. And everything Absolutely. that ties into it. I think, you know, maybe show a little bit more for the viewers. Oh, yes. I mean, you have beautiful jewelry here that I don't think you yes, can capture it from the table. Yes, I'll show these what? cute earrings. Look at these. And we do have some versatility to these earrings. These are called uh, Wild Thing. And so in the back, you can, they're actually reversible, so you can wear them either Oh, how or. cool. Yeah. I like that. You can also remove this and just wear it as a pearl. Oh, pearl wow. there. Yeah. So there's like three different ways you I can see wear that. these. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's very neat. Right. So there's so many different ways. Look at these. These are some cute uh, hoops. Um, we also, we, this is called Color, color Swap. And so what you can do is you can remove um, this hoop here from the back and you can, we have some a purple pair that also comes in that and you can switch them over to purple. How neat. To a purple hoop, yeah. So it seems like with a lot of your jewelry, there, there's multiple ways of yes, wearing Yes, multiple them. ways that you can wear them. And so that's, like why, that. that's why I do my Ways to Wear Wednesdays because so many women <laughs> don't, I yeah, that. That they makes don't, sense. they don't know how to wear their jewelry, right? So, right. Um, yeah, there's so many, um, so many neat things that you can do with, um, with Premier Design Jewelry. So, yes. Um, so for those out there that are, are looking to either join your team, yep. gather information about uh, Premier Designs, or and even follow you on the, where, how to wear Wednesdays, did I yeah. say that right? Yeah. Uh, ways, to what, wear. Mm -hmm. ways to wear. What um, can you share with them? The different platforms they right. can have access to to reach out to you. Right. So I do primarily most of my business through Facebook. So you can follow me on my business page at Christina's Gem Talk Boutique, or you can shop at xtinasbling.com. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, thanks again. I appreciate yes. you making time to yes. meet me. Thank I you love so it. Much. Everyone, please make sure to follow Christina. Yes. Reach out to her. She's you know, leveraging her business as it's her ministry. She's helping women out there, empowering many, inspiring them. And if you've been holding back because of fear, as you can see, Christina manages a home. She has children. She has a full-time job and she's managing her business as well. Yes. You can do it. Don't hold back. Yes. Don't limit your identity. Right. She shared with you. There's exactly. several ways to go about it. Structure, organization, time management, uh, did I leave anything else out? Or? No. No. So just go after it and then make that mission statement. I yes. found that to be extremely powerful. So thank yes. you. Thank you. Awesome. All right, everyone. Enjoy your day. God bless. And please reach out to Christina. Thanks again. Bye now.